What's up, everybody? Rob Harper with Harper's Classics. It's a gorgeous Saturday here in North Carolina. In February, we've got one of these days where it's sunny, 70, 75 degrees. It's just gorgeous uh, for winter time here. So for this episode of Harper's Classics and OnTheTrailer.com, if you can't tell, I'm sitting outside. Actually sitting on my trailer and there's nothing on the trailer. <laughs> So yeah, so for this episode, uh, we're gonna talk about a car that I picked up this week, but it's not on the trailer right now. In fact, um, I went and picked this car up in West Virginia, uh, and we'll get to that in a second, but I did it overnight. Uh, so it was a pretty good run, overnight hours, early morning, sun broke, picked the car up, and then uh, came on home. So did not get a chance to film any uh, while I was picking the car up, but we'll get to the car here in a second. So for this episode of On Trailer, there's actually nothing on the trailer. So let's go and take a look at the car that we picked up this week. Um, so we'll head in here to the garage and I'll show you. Since, since before we do that, it is such a gorgeous day out here today. Um, I am driving my own personal car this is my 66 early L72 450 horse car. So, as all numbers matching car. So, if you know the stories on the L72s, the early cars came out of the factory with 450 horse. Uh, and then they got re-rated at four and a quarter. Um, but they didn't change anything on the internals or anything. It was basically just a, a re-rating at a lower RPM. Uh, from the factory uh, so that the insurance companies would agree to insure the cars, but they just did it at a lower RPM. So they didn't change the cams uh, or anything about the motors in the 427s, but that is an early 66 L72. Uh, but for this episode, let's take a look and see what we picked up this week, which was on the trailer a few days ago. But it is a 66 427 L72. This car has 39,000 original miles on it. Um, the interesting thing about this car is there's this whole thing about like life and, and things that come into your life. And um, along that vein, I actually knew this car back in 2014, 2015. A gentleman here in North Carolina bought this car from the original owner and the original owner's family out of Ohio. And I have the original title for this car. And it was a 38,000 mile car. Uh, it had an original paint on it, original interior in it. But the gentleman wanted to go ahead and do a full frame off restoration. So he brought the car over to my good friend Scott Lawrence at Phoenix Restoration. Scott did this car um, back in, I want to say it was like 2015, 2016 there. Uh, so he did this car for a gentleman named Jim Brown and uh, I knew the car. So when Scott took the car apart to do the restoration and he separated the motor and the chassis um, and the clutch had the original paint tabs on it from the factory still. So the car had never been apart. So this car has had about a hundred miles put on it since that restoration. Uh, but it is still just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you know, Scott does just an incredible job on his restorations. Uh, in fact, he's the one that's doing my 54 right now, my 54 resto mod. But all the gaps, all the chrome on this car is perfect. It has had about 100 miles put on it since its restoration. It's a factory red black interior car, um, two tops under car exhaust. So it's not a side pipe car. Um, but yeah, just really incredible. So let me um, flip this around here real quick and I'll show you a little bit more about this car. So one of the things about this car is that it is a true 39,000 mile car. It's had a NCRS frame off restoration. So it's ready for judging. It's got all the paint tabs, masking tape on the body shims, all the correct markings that you would do to, to have a car top flighted. But it is also a no hit body car. Car was never wrecked, 
has all its original GM panels on it. Um, gaps, everything on the cars is gorgeous. And with 100 miles since the restoration on it, it is just in phenomenal shape. Power brake car, but no power steering. And again, two top, have the original hard top over there. Show you the interior. So when they did the restoration, they did put new carpet in it, but dash pad, seats, door panels, gas, and the dash cluster is all original. So there it is showing 39,373 miles. So I think when it was restored, it had 39,200 and some miles on it. Oh uh, yeah, still has its original rocker moldings. Original bumpers were re-chromed. It's just absolutely stunning. So here's what I really want to show you about this car. That is the original window sticker for the car. It's been laminated. So it was sold out of a hive. It's got all original options listed. Just very well preserved. Original window sticker. Original owner's manual. As well as the original protective plate. And again, in the name, gentleman's name that bought the car originally. And I have a copy of the original title still from a hive. But I just thought that was amazing about this car was you don't see them too often with the original window stickers. You'll see Protecto plates and, the, and owner's manuals and stuff like that. In 67, the next year, they started the tank stickers. Um, so you'll see some cars with tank stickers. But this is actually the first original mid-year Corvette that I've had that had the original window sticker in it. All right, so there you go. That's for this week's episode of Harper's Classics and onthetrailer.com. Again, we did a little overnight midnight run to pick this one up. So I didn't get much video that night as I was out grabbing the car, but uh, I knew the car years ago, eight, nine years ago, and uh, it's come full circle, and now I own it. Um, so yeah, really special, 66 big block car. Uh, this car's not for sale right now. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Um, maybe down the road or something, we'll see. Things are always changing around here. But yeah, super special car. Known the car since uh, the second owner bought it and had it restored, um, but now it's here at Harper's, Harper's Classics, Harper's Garage, and on the trailer. So that's it for this week's episode. Give me a like, tag, share. Please subscribe to the channel. Those things are always helping for somebody like myself that's just trying to grow small little side business and stuff around the cars. But yeah, give me a comment. Let me know what you think of this particular car, as well as some content that's coming in the future. And thanks a lot, and God bless, and have a great day.